Hello class, this is Mr. Sinjanin, and I'll be showing you how to do your next project, the double lead. First thing, you have to make sure that your mortar is at the right consistency. I already added water to this, and you're going to need your four foot level, two foot level, two regular bricks, two headers. Of course, you'll need your measuring tape and ball of water. Alright, I'll show you guys. First thing you gotta do is string and furrow. Don't go all the way across. You don't have to this time. We're only going up to halfway, maybe past half. Yeah. So you can't go a little extra. You just gotta take the excess off. And I'll go on the other side. You got a furrow. Pretty already, as soon as you start seeing some excess coming off. You'll probably put a little extra in there. Make sure you cradle and bevel as well. Any bare spots, you gotta fill it up. So I got a bare spot here, bare spot there. Here we go. This time you should get it. And the brick should be clean at this point. As you see, I don't have any, I don't see any brick, and bricks got stained with the mortar. Okay, next up, I'm going to put my header down on this side. Now you have to make sure you put it where the cut is facing away, like towards the inside, and the rough edge on the inside. That way you get two smooth spots. You gotta look down from the top here. So I've been always saying this, you have to look straight down. Don't mind my shoes. Okay. Don't worry about getting the excess mortar off. Now what you have to do is butter your end. At this point you should know how to butter your brick. Okay. Just kind of roughly put it on and we're going to do all the measurements after. I got to put the header on the other side. You notice I'm laying my bricks right now. I'm not doing any level work or anything yet. Go butter. Hold the one brick and you have to squeeze the rest. All right, now you get all the excess mortar off with your trowel. So you have to do the uh, cradling on this side. Careful here with the head joints. Look get that first, then cradle. Don't forget this side as well. I could show you any other way with what I'm doing here. Okay, next up, I want to make sure your measurement's proper. So it's got to be five and a quarter. I'm a little over five and a half right now. So you got to tap the end down gently. Just stay a little bit above five and a quarter. Now what I do, get your four foot level. Next, get all the excess more from the top. Okay. Well, let me just show you what I got here so far. Now that header is to height. I just got to move that to the left, but look at the rest. Obviously I got to do a little bit of work there. So strategy for this, you gotta make sure you tap the middle of the, of the level. Just try to keep level best you can until you start touching the header that's right to height. Look at 
more. There you go. Now that's level. See that? Bubbles right in the middle. That's what you gotta do. Next, you cradle off the excess mortar. This is tricky to keep it clean. Don't forget on the ends. You gotta get that. Okay, after you make a level, you gotta make it plumb. Now, at this point, no more torpedo level. You have to use the two foot level. Okay. Now what you gotta do sometimes is hit the brick on the side here to knock it to be uh, plumb. And that's the case right there. Plumb. Make this plumb. Sometimes you gotta tap the very back of the header. And then the side. You gotta check, make sure this is still plumb. Sometimes it won't stay plumb. So you gotta play around with it. There we go. Like I said before, it's like you're dancing with these bricks. Get all that excess mortar off as it gets squeezed out. There, that's plumb. That's almost plumb. Gotta tap a little more. There we go. Sometimes you gotta hit it. Let's see if you see on this point of view. Sometimes you gotta hit the brick in the back, the back middle here, or you gotta hit it on the side level to knock that to be plumb. It's not gonna move itself. And you gotta do the same thing on this side. This plumb now. Sometimes we gotta make it smoother like this. Now, at this point, do your best to keep it all level. The plumb is more important. You got about four or five minutes before this starts setting up on you. Here, I gotta tap this brick towards me because it, it went a little too far in. I tap that to be plumb. That's plumb. And that's plumb. Yeah. Now I gotta make this straight. Now you use your four foot level. Because the headers are plumb, you gotta knock this guy over. So you gotta tap all these bricks over until it's until it touches the end of the headers. Sometimes you gotta straighten out the header a little bit. It stays in line. Okay. Cradle off that excess mortar. Now when you make a straight, check to make sure it's still plumb. You're always checking back and forth. See, even this got knocked out a little bit. Okay, there, just a little tap. You know you had a plumb before, and you're right there. Make that plumb a little better. Sometimes just a very light tap. This one. Perfect. I gotta see, I gotta tap it back here. How's this? Perfect. Just gonna tap a little bit. Alright, now you gotta make sure that the measurements are good. It should be 
close to 11 and 3 quarter, which that is. That is too. Or make sure it's 3 eighths joints, which that's the case. Now the next thing is you have to make sure that the top course is straight with the bottom one. Gotta make sure that's straight, but now you gotta turn it on an angle. I don't know if you can. I'm gonna try to bring the iPad over here. See, I got it on an angle. You have to look to see if there's any gaps in there. See, there is a little gap there. So I know I gotta tap that. And a little gap there little one there. So this is what I got to do. You always got to make sure straight and then straight with the previous course. When you're making straight with the previous course, you got to make sure that the level is on the diagonal. Now don't be pushing too hard on it or else you're going to knock your bricks out of plumb. Just light tap, light tap, Turn it on the side. And you gotta also do a light tap here until it touches. There you go. Now that is perfectly straight now. Get all your excess mortar off. So that's what I should see at this point. Now next I'm going to put one more brick on top. The height should be 8 inches. So I have to string and furrow again. Remember I'm only measuring one side because I'm making it level all the way across. See a little bear there. Make sure you keep cleaning that. Furrow. Low there. Cradle. Bevel. Okay, now I put my final brick on top. I'll have to get that.